Fest Radio on RampFestRadio.com. We're, we're not number one. God is. We may not be the best, but our purpose is to lead you to the best. Jesus Christ. www.RampFestRadio.com. Old school to new school. Classics to exclusives. Gospel, hip hop, music, and videos. Live video interviews Monday nights at 8 p.m. Monday nights at 8 p.m. Watch. Watch. Learn. Learn. Love. Love. Support. Support. Rap Fest Radio on RapFestRadio.com. 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 Everything on schedule? Everything's set. What's the code? One way. One way. Got it.
I'll get that for you. We are live on RapFestRadio, RapFestRadio.com. Welcome. Yes. Welcome we are back. here on a Monday night. We just finished listening to this video and watching this video by New Life. They've been working on this video for a long time. Yeah. I was already getting upset. They kept putting up trailer, 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 <laughs> teaser, <laughs> teaser. I was like, come yeah. on, just give yeah. us the video. But Nomar did a great job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Nomar's doing good stuff. Valerie Garcia J. Uh, guys doing great work out of Connecticut. Check them out, newlifemusic.com. Yeah. You can check out the video again. I think you might even be able to download the song on their site. If not, ask for it, and you should be able to get it. We're excited to be back here on a Monday night. We were off last week, right? We were off last week. Yes. Yeah, I, was, I think I was working late last week, right? Yes. Yeah, I worked late last week. We were off last week, but no. we're back tonight. We were. We were here last week? That, we, we were on last week, week or the week before. before. I'm confused now. I'm confused too. I was going ahead a week matter. earlier today, uh, now man. you're going see, back. See, to... I got to take this interview off. You, okay. <laughs> you so we were on last week. <laughs> right, we were on last week. I just wasn't on. <laughs> but somebody was on. Somebody, somebody was, was here. <laughs> Some, something right. was going on. See? Actually, yeah, we were oh, on man, last we week. Who did we have last week? Oh, man. This is bad. Putting you up on the spot, huh? Who we had last week? Oh, my God. We don't ever, right nobody here. remembers him? It's right here. I got oh, Timothy. Oh, my yeah. gosh. T. Holmes. T. Holmes. Shout out to T. Holmes. T. Holmes was here last week. We had uh, Timothy Holmes last week. See, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did. We had uh, T. Holmes last week. It was good to have him here. Uh, he shared some new wow. music that's coming out. He has a mixtape. He's, he's got a lot of dudes on his mixtape. Yeah. I was really impressed. Wow. Young guy. You know, we're talking about like C Light, Alex Medina, Benja, and all these dudes yeah. on a free mixtape. Wow. Pretty Burgundy. impressive. Yeah. Eshawn Burgundy yeah. produced yeah. the track we played for him uh, last week. So, but this week we have my man Dave in the house. Gage, yeah. Gage is here. That's it's right. been more than a year yeah, since we man. had you up yeah. here. <clears throat> it's been uh, that long. So you know we wanted to catch up with you and see what's going on in the life of Gage. I didn't know whether I was welcome back up in this spot. Oh, what? I was like, man, you know, man, I, am I a rapper anymore? <laughs> well, that's what we called. <laughs> that's here. what we're gonna talk about. This is kind of like an intervention. We didn't want to say that. <laughs> You got, like you, brought it up. Them up, right? you got a holy hip hop intervention here yeah. about your <laughs> rapping, sir. All right, it's, <laughs> it's got to stop. <laughs> it's either got to stop or continue. Okay, no, nah, man. But uh, Gage, again, we're we're excited to have you here, man. Like always, every, every time we talk, we have great conversations. So we're excited to have you here tonight, and we just want to people catch up with Gage. What's going on with your life? Because you kind of been on a download for a little yeah, bit. I have. I so have. Um, go ahead, man. In introduce yourself maybe to some new listeners, and then take it from there. Well, my name is David Gage Vera. I'm from Flatbush, Brooklyn. You know, I always got a bigger Brooklyn. Flatbush, Brooklyn, you know. Watch and your I wallets. am. Uh, <laughs> wait, so where watch, is he from? watch your wallets. Watch, it, oh, oh, wrong. Wrong. <laughs> well, you see where we at, you got to watch your wallets. <laughs> you see? Okay, so yeah. And Bronx is a scary place, but yeah. You know, I'm, 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 yeah. So, yeah I'm, so yeah, I'm a Christian rapper. And. That's pretty much it. I mean, you know. That was it. <laughs> that was it. That's it. Come on. You got to give me more than that. Well, I mean, you know, I go to Allen AME. You go to Allen my AME? Flo my past is Floyd Flake. And since you've last been here, you, you're married now? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. To I've a, gotten a, married A last. beautiful lady? Yes. Who's very supportive of your ministry? You're doing this interview good. You know? So let me ask you. Yeah, Gage. well, she told me a lot of stuff to say to her. <laughs> what else did you want me to say about her? What, what was the problem? Make sure don't leave out anything. <laughs> I won't. I know. I trust me. Yes, I know. Yes, yes. So I definitely did get married, you know, August 20th, 7th. Nice. August 27th, right? We were saying the 20th, right? The August 27th. And actually, it was, it was, it was the day of the hurricane. Right. Wow. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, the hurricane was coming the same day. 
and I was getting married, and I'm sitting there saying to myself, "Wait a minute, man! I've done, I've been doing ministry for f- over ten years, and I'm like, God, you're doing this to me." <laughs> <laughs> he Honestly, you. I got upset. I was like, "You're doing this to me on my wedding day," and the crazy thing is that all the all the the, the um traffic was just standstill. Mm-hmm. There was no tolls. Yeah. Some people who came from out of town didn't have to pay tolls. So I remember I'm sitting there, and when it all came to pass. Turned to God and he said, What do you mean doing to you? I mm. shut the whole city down for you. Wow. And it was true because you no know distraction. it was no distraction. I mean, people were getting from Queens to like to Staten Island in, in twenty minutes. Wow. Because it was just like no traffic. So I mean, you know, praise God for that. You know. I have been ministering for the people who don't know me, I've been ministering. I've been born again December thirty first, nineteen ninety nine. That, that was album. the name mm-hmm. of my first album. You know, the second album was called January 1st, 2000, the next day. So the first album pretty much reflected on everything that went on with me before I was, you know, before I came to Christ. And the second album starts from the day after I've come to Christ till today. And the reason why I have been on a hiatus for a little while is because, you know, if anyone that does know my albums, it's it's life. It's real life. So, uh, you know, when people say, well, what you been doing? What you been doing? I'm, I've been living the next album. Mm. Mm. So I'm pretty much getting everything together because when I do put out my album, I put my life on that album. That's good. It's not always easy, you know. A lot of the times, even with the last album, you know, my wife and I, we went through it. It was because I really put some information on that album that we've been through. That was good And it wasn't easy, you know, to always say, hey, this is my life. But it's funny, the records that we did that on was the the most spoke about records. Like things like Pleasure and Pain, like stick to the script, you know, mm-hmm. records that really dealt with everyday issues that right. we pretty much try to turn our back on. So, you know, if you want to know about Gage, I'm going to try to be the realest dude you ever meet, you know, Man, and yeah, I'm going yeah. to give it to you as real as possible. And I'm not trying to water it down. I'm just going to just, just bring it hard. Right. And if you want to know, you just go to mentallinkinc.com and yeah. purchase both CDs and you can find out everything. Listen to the yeah. first one in this entirety. Yeah. Twice if you have to, right? Because <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of stuff on there. It is. It there's is. a lot of stuff on there. Each one. And it's not a lot of stuff because he's a wordy rapper. It's just heavy material. Right. You know, it's not like a lot of fast word playing. No. Like, you don't understand what's going on. It's real clear, straight in your face. This is what it is. And the second album was a great follow-up as well. Amen. So Amen. the next one will be January 2nd. And, you know, what, what is it? I, I, I got, I, I have an idea what the name is, but that's one of those it, things you know? that I'm not August 27th. Say. You know, you always come here with a lot of things you can't say. Yeah. And you know, I was going to tell you this. You know, this is the, the best interviews I have with Gage are the interviews where we talk about everything we can't say. Is it? All the and time. And we don't say anything. All the time. So we just I got to prepare to come to birth. I got to say, okay. Got to make sure to make sure. Which, which question you die? You can't no, trick me to say there, that. I got to make sure I cut here. <laughs> and don't fall for there. Because you're going to yeah. tell it all. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you hopefully before the end of the night. No, but um, so tell us what, I know you said your album, you, you, you pour your life out. Mm-hmm. But it's not like if you're intentionally putting yourself through things so you have material. Oh, definitely not. But um, what makes you want to speak so vividly about your own personal life and your music as opposed to just putting out something about hey this is what the youth are going through let me talk about this what people at home are going through let me talk about because because my heart for people my heart for saving lives you know it's so important because a lot of times when you hear about the suicides and you hear about people going through divorce and you hear about all the situations where people are going through the adultery situations and Mm. a lot of times it always boils down to that person thinking that they were alone they were the only one going through that. Right. And it's like, you don't know how helpful it is when you turn around and you say, hey, bro, I've been there. It's like, it's such a breath of fresh air to hear someone else say, I've been there. I right. understand what you're going through. And let me explain to you how I got past this. And there's right. things that you could do to change that. But whenever you're sitting there and you're keeping it closed and people, you know, you hear somebody say, okay, well, look, they, they, they you know, they, divorced, they, they went through a divorce with their wife. Because this particular situation was happening in their family, in their home, and they figured they were the only one dealing with that. Right. And then all of a sudden, now you hear someone else say, hey, I've been there. It can make that person say, which has happened? Where people have actually called me and say, yo, I listened to your album, and that particular record made me think. So, you know, I've had grown men call me for pleasure and pain, told me they was in tears mm-hmm. when, they re- when they listened to it because 
they've been there. And in that record, I'm literally arguing with He's on Lee playing my wife on the right. album, on the record, and I'm arguing with her in the record because us Christians do argue. Right. You know what I mean? Right. We do. Not perfect. Everything's not perfect. You know, we we we're human beings just like everyone else, and I mean, we have issues at home as well. So I feel it's very important to uh, to let people know that you're not alone. Amen. And that's why it's so important. Why even God tells us that it's important for us to fellowship. Yeah. You know, and, and it's not just to just say, yeah. "Hey, how you doing?" It's also to say, "How are you doing?" Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? And as you mentioned that, of course, we can't help but think about um, DJ Primo, right. who recently right. took his life. I mean, right. that was a shock. The fact that he died, I was already shocked. And right. then when I read that he took his life, I was like, "Why?" You know, and the first thought that comes to my mind: Where did we, the body of Christ, right. fail where? in that aspect? Here we are, Christian hip hop blowing up, people doing tours everywhere, and one of our dudes is killing himself. You know, it, it, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that majority of the times when we get together, our, our conversations are mainly music ministry mm. orientated. It's always like, I mean, you, it's, there's times that I've actually spoken to other ministers and didn't even know what they did for a living. And let's say, for instance, my pipes burst and I need, I need a plumber. And you're a plumber, but I never asked you what you do right. for a living because right. the fact that I'm talking, yo, you know, my record's about to drop and, and, and what are you doing in church and what am mm -hmm. I doing in church? Okay, so what role do you play? And I'm going to tell you this. God spoke to me today and, and everything is just so focused on that. It's never focused on an individual real life. That's real. conversation. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times I'm, you may be struggling for some cash and I may have somebody just do a huge plumbing job in my house and I didn't even know you was a plumber. Mm -hmm. Yep. So a lot of times I try to break that. So whenever I do meet with particular ministers and they say, hey, how you doing? Okay, well, how's your new record going out? And I always like to try to stop. Who are you? Hmm. That's important to me first. Who are you? Yeah, and that's real. And I've experienced that with you. So I, yeah. I, I could guarantee 100% what he's talking about is real. You know, Gage yeah. knows how to look out for people. That's big. Same like uh, these dudes, uh, People's Choice. Oh, definitely, yeah. Those guys are incredible. Yeah. You know, sometimes yeah. I wonder, are they are they real? Like, you know, definitely, what were they placed man. on this earth for? It wasn't for rap. For them too, you it know? wasn't yeah. for rap. It had to be more than just rap. Yes. Rap they'll, is they'll, like a they'll little check, piece. You know, they check for one another. It's 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 a real brotherhood. I mean, you know, and and it's just not talk. It's it's real. If we family, then we need to act like family. Right. I, no, I used to always get his email saying, yo, such and such brother's going through this. We need yes. to do something. Yes. Which is big because now they seek beyond up. the music. Right. Like, okay, the, the dope track. What's, how's your life? Yeah. Right. How's yeah, your life? Yeah, but it, again, it's, it's sad. With D, DJ Primo situation, it's sad. And we just pray. Anybody out there, if you're struggling with something, talk to somebody. Look yes. for somebody yes. to talk to. Yeah, if it definitely. can't, if it's not your immediate family for whatever reason, look for someone else. Go to a church. Even if it's somebody else's church, just talk to somebody. You got to start somewhere. Yeah, you know, call us up, 805 yeah. Rap Fest. We'll find. If I can't tell, help you, I'll put you on with somebody that could help you. You know, I'll send you to Gage or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, we got to do it. Don't be, and don't be ashamed, you right. know, because you're not alone. Nine right. times out of ten, whatever it is you're going through, somebody been through it already. Right. Believe me. Right. And probably way worse than what way you're going worse, through. You know, yeah. and, and, you know. Yeah, it's, 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 it's fun. It's funny because I was thinking about that today, thinking about DJ Primo and then uh, the young man that lost his life in my church. And, and I just thought about, you know, sometimes we do get ashamed, though, you know, right. whether you're a Christian artist, whether you're a minister, whether you're just someone going to church. Right. Sometimes you're 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 ashamed of the mistakes that you yes. make, even however you compare them to you always compare them to what you see as the worst. And so right. you hold it in and, right. and God knows what you're holding in and it could be something that you know if you did share it there could be that that release that could really get that change, support yes. that 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 guidance that that healing that spiritual Definitely. healing that can really you know build that bond back with someone else and i think that's you know and that's very important key. for us ministers as well is to leave that door open for that mm -hmm. as well. right because yeah. what happens a lot of times is that every time you and I speak, I'm trying to show you how strong my ministry is compared to your ministry or someone else's ministry. And I'm not creating that relationship to the yeah. point where you could trust right. in the fact that if you tell me something, I'm not looking to, to blast it amongst everybody. Right. I'm looking to try to help you with the situation. Right. Exactly. So always it's important to show people love first before you start to criticize. Right. Yeah. You, you know, know, show people love and give them the ability to, yeah. you know, to open up to you. One of the greatest compliments I... Or how can I say, I gauge the compliments. One of the greatest compliments I can get is mm -hmm. when somebody tells me, man, I didn't even know you rap. Yeah. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. 
Right. And that that means so much more to me than, oh, you're the dude from Storytellers. You don't want to do this track. You right. did that track. You would... I'd rather not hear that. I'd rather hear someone say, oh, I didn't know you rap, because that shows that that's not what I'm here. You know, right. I'm not just a rap star. Right. You know, it's like, yeah, I do it. You know, let's, let's go. That's part of it. But there's more to life than just that. Oh, oh you know? so much more. And I think a lot of people are wrapped up in that. This is what I do. This is my image. I'm the star. You know, they want to live that Lil Wayne type life, which is why I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it, it, to me, I mean, as far as I'm concerned with my ministry and the things I've been through, the best thing for me is when I get that phone call. There's many times, Bert, to be honest, that I've said to myself, you know, should I still be doing this, man? Because I've been rapping for a long time and, you know, I've been doing ministry. And I will always get that email or I get that phone call. I got an email recently where a brother said to me, you know, I, you know, I, I hope I'm not sounding soft. This is how, you know, how it was very intimate for him to even right. say this. But he said he's going through something. He normally never does this. But he said that he was going through something and he, something just put, God put best friend into his head. Mm. Oh, wow. And he said he went online and he looked at the video and he listened to the words word for word. And he said it totally spoke on his situation right now, Whoa. what he's going through. And he said he broke down in tears. Wow. And it really touched his heart that, if you really listen to the song, it's telling you my testimony. So he's going through what I went through. Right. And it was just like, it's those things are the, oh man, yeah, you know, absolutely. I get mm -hmm. chills. It's the things that yeah. really, because it's so important. If my music, if you're just going to tell me, yo, your rap is dope, you got a good flow, <clears throat> and I didn't, and it didn't help change your life, it didn't do right. me nothing. Yeah. Right. Honestly. It's nothing. It is it's nothing. It's nothing for me. I mean, I could, we could rhyme all day long, and if I don't walk out of that place feeling, feeling like you learned something from it, it's a kind of that's a waste a, of time. Yeah. It's a waste of time. No, I, that's me too. I'm the same way. Yeah. You know, and I usually tell you, yo, that was whack. <laughs> <laughs> you know, tell me in a minute. Gage, what, what was that? What was that? <laughs> Look, seriously? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. You serious? You done? That's why I ain't going pop. <laughs> I ain't going ah. pop. And that's what I want to talk about because we, we want to play that video, man. Um, we played this video after our first interview because this video came out afterwards. Yeah, right. and, and when it came out, everybody was like, I ain't going pop. Yo, he talking to in this track. What's going on here? So tell us a little bit about I Ain't Going Pop. What does it mean and what did it mean to you as you wrote it? Wow. I mean, what it meant to me, first things first, is that, you know, when it came down to Christian hip hop, I started to realize, and I'm not just going to say for New York, but, you know, worldwide, I was getting a lot of comparisons. People were saying, this one is doper than this one. This one mm. rhymes better than this one. And even on me, Gage, you're old school and your, your flow is, is old. And, you know, you don't have, you know, you really don't come with the flavor that you need to come with it. And I'm hearing all these different comparisons. And I went to God about it and I'm saying, God, you know, am I in this to compare myself to my own brothers and sisters? Is this really a comparison thing or mm -hmm. is this a ministry? And that's when he said to me, this is not about comparison. This is mm. about ministry. And the only way that you can stop a man from cheating on his wife, or only way you can stop a man from taking his life, is through my word and through me. <coughs> so, being the dopest rapper is not going to change somebody's life. That's right. Hmm. Ministry changes lives. So, automatically that came into my mind, pop music. And so when I put out, when I thought about pop music, a friend of mine came clear to me and told me, Gage, be careful with that pop music line. Because pop music, the definition of that is what's popular right now. Mm. And why wouldn't you want to be popular? I thought about it and I said, I don't mind becoming popular for ministry. But I clearly don't want to be popular mm. and hide ministry. Right. Mm. Right. Because if hiding ministry makes me popular, I'd rather do away with it. Mm. I'd rather not be popular at all. So, and then all of a sudden, then I went to another state. I'm not going to name states. And I went to a show. You name it. And a show, the, and the guy at the show literally said to me, he said, listen, let me tell you something now. Is there going to be no ministry going on in here? He literally said that to me. North Carolina. I'll throw you off the stage. That's what he said. There is nothing wrong with entertainment. That's what he said to me. There's it's, nothing it's wrong. It's always with like that, that in uh, where was that? And I'm like, don't try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning, right? You see, he didn't, uh, mom, you know, right? I'm not going. There. So, like I said, our state. East Coast. You're good. 
<laughs> so yeah, he said that you know there's nothing wrong with entertainment and there's nothing wrong with going up there showing skills because you could go on a tour from all over the world if if there's certain people in the audience that could see you and they could take you all over the world. And I remember God saying to me, if I wanted you to be a leader, and Kirk Franklin, no disrespect to him, he's you know, but Kirk Franklin asked you to be his backup. Why would you go from being a leader to a backup? That means you're not doing what I wanted you to do. Hmm. So sometimes that big opening that you thought was good in your favor may wind up being something that could hold you back. Hmm. Hmm. So again, relationship with Christ, relationship is so important. So my relationship with God and the more and more I seek him and the more and more he deals with me on a personal basis, I started to realize that ministry is more more important than pop music amen so you ain't going pop so i ain't going pop and i and honestly i said i put it on my mom's mm. who's deceased y'all mm. know and i put it on my wife mm. and my wife will kill me if i you know if i don't listen man. yeah oh absolutely right. and i know she will yeah. look at that face she's yeah she will <laughs> she's like oh yes i will so check it out we're gonna go to this video i ain't going pop you heard the situation that happened to him when he was over in um this city. In the city. Uh, <laughs> the video is called, the song is called I Ain't Going Pop. This is the video. Check it out. Then we're going to come back with more Gage. We have some announcements, some exciting news to share to, with you as well regarding Rap Fest. If you want to tweet about us, hashtag RFR Live. We're live yeah. right now. Rap Fest Radio, rapfestradio.com. We'll be right back. Check this out. You Check it, yo, every day I'm hearing Gage of the game has changed I call it mass confusion, ministry rearranged I'm saying not me, never I'm gonna keep it gutter Marching faking gimmicks, so real they call me butter I rap for the weak, I rap for the dead Don't rap for the bread, it's straight to the head Can't turn my back on one that needs my help They're leaving pain I'd rather instead leave everyone fed this faith I'ma spread, Satan's gonna dread When I hit the stage with lyrics that said to stimulate your brain They want me to make you laugh But I see so many crying They want me to keep you hype That's what I see Christians buying I see you mama trying I see you lonely nights I see you fighting pastor With sin so strong it bites My fight's for you and I'm staying true No matter what they tell me to do You can't make me give in Cause I'm living for a chosen few And I'll never stop, I'll never quit Until I see you free You can be the greatest rapper Gage is about the minute I ain't going pop, hey yo, I'll never stop I put that on my moms, I put that on my wife I ain't going pop, hey yo, I'll never stop I'd rather save your life, I'd rather, yo, check it They rhyming about each other, Christians with battle rhymes Same day two kids got murdered, I'd rather battle crimes Did they have Jesus? No, to me that's a major crisis While other ministers stuck on proving to you whose flow is the nicest I see you killer, I see you rapist, I see you quiet boy I see the lust you're fighting, Satan's missions to destroy I rhyme for the nun, I rhyme for the son, I rhyme for the one beat by her husband daily Don't rhyme for the fame rooted like Alex Haley They want me to make you happy, outside inside you're dying They want me to make you dance, while your sins are multiplying I see you buying it all, while all the gangs are warring You know the latest dance, teenage abortion soaring I fight for the teen, I fight for the fiend, I fight for the heart received You can be the swagged out one son, I am no attention fiend But I keep on praying, keep on fasting till I see you free Go ahead with the gimmicks, but there's no gimmicks inside of me I ain't going pop, hey yo, I'll never stop I put that on my moms, I put that on my wife I ain't going pop, hey yo, I'll never stop I'd rather save your life, I'd rather slave your check it. I run for you, I run for you, I run for you and you I run for him, I run for her, I run for your whole crew I run for Manson, run for Bundy, run for Jeffrey Dahmer I run for the deadbeat dad, I run for every baby mama Even Obama, Sana Hussein Osama The war on terror, this new era, man, I run to sharpen up my armor I run for the charm, I run for the drama, I run for the innocent victim I run for the fallen pastor, Satan is the one that tricked him I'll never stop, I won't give in, you'll never beat this soldier I keep it real, fight for the poor, remember Gage, I told ya I'll never stop, I won't give in, you'll never beat this soldier I keep it real, fight for the poor, remember Gage, I told ya My fight's for you and I'm staying true, no matter what they tell me to do You can't make me give in, cause I'm living for a chosen few And I'll never stop, I'll never quit until I see you free You can be the greatest rapper, Gage is found in me Ministry. 
Yo, I ain't going pop. That's the name of the video that you just yeah. saw. From my man Gage here. And we already spoke about it, the whole situation of how that song came about. You can also find this on your website, yep. mentallinkinc.com. That's right. Uh, I want to get into some announcements before we talk some more. Yeah. First thing, um, Eli mentioned we lost a young person from our church this weekend. Unfortunately, on Friday night, he was in some kind of scuffle and mm. he got stabbed in the heart. And he lost his life. Young kid, 17 years old. And they, they're going to have, I believe, funeral services going on this weekend. But uh, it's always sad when you lose a young person. Well, you lose anybody, it's sad. Yeah, yeah. You know, like we were just talking about DJ mm -hmm. Primo before. Yeah, Last yeah. year was uh, DJ Brian Smith yeah, and yeah. DJ Lace. Lace. And it's just yeah. way too many. Too many. Way too many. All of these guys are young. I yes. mean, now we're talking 17 years old. You yes. can't get younger than that for, yes. you know, for this kind of tragedy. But our hearts are definitely out with the family, and we pray that the Lord will comfort them. They seem to be pretty good right now, knowing that you know God's got them. But either way, it's hard. It is. You know, it there's is. no words you could say that'll make somebody forget. No you way. know, but no know that God is there with you, and we got your back as well in prayer and anything you need. We're here for you. Yeah. Um, okay. Announcements. Rap Fest 2012, we've been talking about it. It's August 11th in the Boogie Down Bronx at the Pathmark <clears throat> Mall, 174th Street, Longfellow Avenue. Eight hours of nonstop gospel hip-hop outdoors free. Free. Uh, free. We have a full stage, same stage set up from last year, same sound yeah. set up from last year, probably enhanced sound, but same stage set up from last year has been 100% confirmed. Nikki Cruz, the evangelist Nikki Cruz, will yeah. be sharing the word with us that day. If y'all don't know Nikki Cruz, you just need to get out here, man. Or go to youtube.com slash rapfest videos and watch Rapfest 2006. Six, yep. See all the video clips of Nikki preaching and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Incredible, anointed, super blessed man of God. And he's actually excited to be out here at Rapfest. Definitely. I'm almost scared he might try to rap, you know. <laughs> but he's excited to be out here. We're excited to have him. That's going to be good. We do have a special guest lined up. K-Drama is going to be in the building yeah. as our special guest. And that's exciting for us because he's been with us in the past. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've rejected his demo many years <laughs> straight. And, and then finally we brought him in to open up. Yeah, you know, a little slot here, a little mm -hmm. slot there. And God has been increasing his territory as well. Definitely. And he's going to be one of our special guests. He was last on when Nikki Cruz was there too that same day. He opened up that he rap fest with Teeter Totter. Yep. And everybody was like, huh? Yep. That's you know, a good that's, brother. That's, 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 he's incredible. He's, he's incredible. Yeah, he, good he's real yeah. down to earth. Yeah, he he's he's insane, mm -hmm. man. Uh, we we love K drama, so he's gonna yeah. be our special guest this year at Rap Fest. So we're really yeah. excited about that. Uh, also, the night before Rap Fest, we have Jacob Bergai, who's gonna be speaking. Jacob oh, awesome. is a guy from Fuel yes, Conference and also so, Battle yep. Cry, yes. Faith Fellowship, uh, Ministries. Faith Fellowship Ministries. Yep. Incredible brother, he calls himself White Chocolate. White Chocolate. Uh, he's hilarious. No he He'll probably try to get a rap in that day. Who knows? Right? I think he will. <laughs> he's off the hook. Not, not, yeah, not he that is. he's there, so. When we had yes, him here on Rapper's Radio, I tried yeah. to make him rap, and he didn't do it. But yeah. he said, I'm white chocolate, but maybe next time. Maybe next time. <laughs> you know, but uh, Jacob Bergai from Faith Fellowship, uh, Battle Cry, Fuel Conference, he's going to be sharing with us yeah. the night before Rap Fest. He'll also be hanging out with us the day of Rap yes, Fest. He'll probably yes. be up on stage, share a couple of words as well. Yeah. So you definitely want to come out and check that out. Also, we've confirmed Life Zone TV is going to be broadcasting Rap Fest. Life Zone TV, you know, you'll be able to see it online like we usually do with yeah. Rapfest, whether it be Ustream or whatever through rapfestradio.com and Life Zone TV. But they also broadcast via Roku and, and a Hispanic Gospel Network. We're talking about access to like 5 million homes, wow. which, awesome, is, awesome. which is great. So we're really excited about that. Life Zone TV is going to be hooking up with us. Uh, the week before Rap Fest, we're hooking up with God Belongs in My City for yeah, the so prayer, prayer walk. walk. I mean, we're, we're trying oh, to, man, we're yes. just trying to partner up with as many ministries as possible right. that can help us do what we've been doing. But they already, you know, come on, God Belongs in My City, they know how to do they prayer walks. Things, help yeah. us out here. Yeah, definitely. You know, and, they, and that's how they're jumping in. It's a good way how you connected the two ministries. Yeah, yeah. yeah it just yeah. makes so much sense. So well, I'm yeah. not going to reinvent the wheel. Right. You know, so they're, they're coming out to support. Um, who else we have helping us out this year? We have... Well, 3HP, Holy Culture, Grateful oh, right. Apparel. Right, 3HP Day, Records, uh, 3HP Promotion. Yes, right. You know, they're helping us out with the with the with uh, with all the press releases right. and stuff like that. Right. Incredible ministry. Triple, Triple J, J Audio, Audio, of course. Um, Calvary Church. Calvary Sanctuary Church, Fellowship. a lot of churches. But there's one thing that we need. We need you guys to submit your music. I don't want people after Rap Fest saying, yo, you should have put me down. You should have submitted. Mm -hmm. uh, the deadline for submissions is April 
30th. After April 30th, we'll gather all the submissions and make our decision on who's going to participate. Yeah. So we got to make sure that you send your submissions in so that we can look at them, review them, and select the artists with enough time to promote them and put them down on the program. I just want to clarify something. I think sometimes people get this misconception of the reason why we take submissions is not because we think ourselves so good that we need you to submit. It's because we don't know every single ministry that's out there. Right. If you submit and you're a new ministry and we don't know you, you know, we're able to give you this exposure. So please don't take it as if, oh, I got to submit, you know, who they think they are because I, I've right. heard some of that. Yeah, sure. And, and it's not about that. It's about finding new ministries that are out there that, my God, they have this awesome word that needs to be heard and we just want to put you out there. And even... You know, some of the rappers out there, you know, we don't we don't know what your right. calendar is. We don't know your availability. So, right. you know, submit. Come join us with us. You know, I, I hear so much. I'm doing it for the streets. I'm doing it for the streets. You know, if you're really doing it for the streets, we are going to be in the streets. That's right. right. You know, so right. if your ministry is for the streets, or I write for the streets, that's what I'm writing for, then come on. Submit and let's put your ministry out Amen. there in the street and let's touch some souls Amen. and let's work as one body Amen. for one goal. Amen. Not to gain souls for a particular church. It's to gain souls to build the kingdom. Amen. And that's what Rapfest is about. Amen. Amen. And even a, even artists that have participated in the past and they're asking, you know, I, I rapped last year. Do I have to resubmit? We say yes because we want to make sure you still have the same accountability behind your ministry. Right. Yeah, right. You know, it's very easy for me to submit this year and then spend the whole year being a knucklehead out on my own and just assume that they're going to hook me right. back up again because I was there last right. and year. Everybody gets a fair shot. You no. know what I mean? I, I submitted and I right, knew you right. for years. Exactly. <laughs> and and a lot of people are like, yo, yeah. I know Burke. Can I, do I have yeah. to submit? Yes, yeah. <laughs> everybody. Yes, John Wells, Cross Movement has to submit. Yes. <laughs> and he does, yeah. you know, and that, I mean, everybody does. Everybody yeah. does. And it's just, it's just, it puts us in check as well. Right. You know, we have a whole committee. We, we're going to share the stage. We're going to share 15 minutes on stage with you speaking to the people. We want to make sure that we're doing the right thing. Exactly. You know, we don't want to do that recklessly. But please submit. Go to rapfestinc.com. All of the details are there to send out your electronic press kit or your mail in press kit. Uh, we want to get it before April. 30th yeah. after april 30th we're not going to look at them if i don't have enough submissions after april 30th that i think are enough i'll pick groups locally from people that i know using my own judgment at that point but i don't select the groups otherwise okay you know and even then i don't you know we'll talk about that afterwards <laughs> i think we have enough to select from but come on guys send them in it's gonna be crazy nikki cruz is enough for me i'll, I'll have nikki cruz preach for eight yeah, hours yeah, that's, that's what extreme. we're out there to do that's anyway it. yeah he loved One that artist stuff. In the rap yeah. to, and him and him? jacob forget about it it's, oh, a, it's, man, a, it's a wrap too, yep. oh we're also gonna have sick yes this year at rap fest i could say that from now as well uh, sick ministered last year at rap fest and they were off the hook yes they were incredible uh one of the guys preached the night before rap fest uh, they're coming up. They're going to be opening up for Nikki, actually. Well, they're going to be right before Nikki, whenever whenever in the set that falls. Uh, it's a yeah. great ministry. They've been doing a lot of stuff with Ignite. They're going to be uh, uh, ministering with Nikki, too, at an event right. sometime soon. So sometime right. soon. So they, they're kind of connected. Remember when Truce came out and did for, for Nikki Cruz last time. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have uh, Sick do this for, for Nikki this year. So it's going to be really exciting. Yeah. Please, again, ratfestinc.com. That's where you get all the details of mailing your submission, electric, electronic press kit or... You know, put a stamp. People still do that. Put a stamp, CD, and all that. Stuff. Yo, do it. Send it in. Uh, last announcement we have. Well, the Bread Factory coming up. We have Prodigal Son and Dave TV. Yep. And that's on May 5th. May 4th. 4th. It's oh, a Friday 4th. night. Friday night, May 4th, at Sanctuary Fellowship Church, 1469 St. Peter's Avenue. Doors open at 7 o'clock. It's a free event. Yeah. DJ Lou on the one and the two. Uh, <laughs> Pastor Lou is going to be holding it down, playing some music. And, um, and this Saturday is the Coffee House. This so Saturday, the Coffee House. Yeah, we got uh, Jay Kabasa and Malachi uh, the Truth. Yeah, Malachi like, the yeah. Truth. And uh, and then also, I uh, was just saying, uh, Battle Cry is going to be out there. I know Richie Wright is going to be out in Battle Cry this year, so yeah. definitely. Battle right Cry is this weekend, there. right? Battle Cry is this weekend, the 13th and the 14th. We'll be there, yeah, definitely. Look TSF for I Am Unique at, uh, well, TSF and I Am Unique. Yeah. You wearing your I Am Unique shirt? You have to. Of course, to. the first day. I got to support them the second day. But you got to wear a TSF shirt. I'll be shirt. wearing it. I'll be wearing it. But you got to wear a TSF shirt. I'm going to have a half and half. Half and half. <laughs> I Am TSF. <laughs> but as far as the unique, though, too, volunteers, though, for Rap Fest to definitely hit us up. I right. Up, uh, 
Ratfest, right? At yeah, if you wanna if you wanna volunteer, just hit us up, Ratfest Inc. at gmail.com or I am at gmail.com. Gmail. Yeah, definitely. We're easy access, just Google Ratfest, you'll find us everywhere. Yeah. Um this year's gonna be crazy, that's all mm-hmm. I'm gonna say. You know, and it's gonna so be mid-gauge. Yeah. <laughs> so some mid gauge. you you heard that? I'm just I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be you heard that, right? <laughs> Can't be more direct than that, right? I know. Wow. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how do you get past that one, but I got it. You don't. You don't. don't. Say that you don't. Next. You're just going to the next I'll question. I'll submit. All right. There you go. Uh, I ain't going pop. That's <laughs> right, but I ain't going pop. Yeah. So, um, so what what do we expect from Mr. Gage in 2012? But the, oh, I mean, the man. year is still kind of young. Yeah. Just finished the first quarter. Yeah. But it's going. But it's going. It is. It is. I mean, again, what's important is like, first things first, again, is though I just got married. So it's been a lot, you know, I've been wanting to do some stuff, but again, at the end of the day, it's God that runs my life. So, you know, and I felt like... I thought you were going to blame your wife for me. No, no, no. (laughs) Honestly, he said, you know, he said, take care of home because, you know, of course, it's the first time I'm actually living with her. You know what I mean? So it was just like getting accustomed to, you know, having a wife and living at home and getting the home straight. So I feel like, you know, he's been making sure that I got that set up first. And then now, you know, I asked her, I'm like, are we good with that? And she's like, we good, get out of here, man. Oh, wow. You know, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about having to get anything straight. You should have been doing you know, another album five months ago. But so that's so she's important. She's definitely my biggest critic. That's but, you know. that, but that's so important because, you know, unfortunately, we've experienced in the last couple of years, you know, different artists who've had situations with their spouse. Yeah. Because they didn't take that time to right. figure this out first right. before they go on the road. They just... You know, life like as usual. Meanwhile, wifey's home. Like, I'm is he ever you, coming I back? Put, I put it's in some. I, I put in the hour. I'm like, okay, you know, I'm here, right? You see, I'm still here, right? Okay, we gonna watch a few movies and, until you get tired of me. <laughs> and then I'll be gone. <laughs> but you're but, right, though. I mean, honestly, for, you know, different ministers has told me that. Like, look, man, I got married today and I went to Australia the next day, and it was like, you know, yeah, they never hard. really put in that time. So. I, you know, I feel like there's a time and place for everything, and God right. really does give me. If you do listen to what He says, you know, right. if it's about me, then I'm gonna right. just put out anything I want to do. I'm gonna say, forget what He's saying. Right. I don't care if I'm hearing it. I'm gonna continue right. to just do what I want to do. But at that given time, I literally felt Him saying, "Relax," you know, because hey, even friends of mine, you know, Minister Marcus is a great friend of mine and a big brother of mine, and he's always said to me, you know, the times when we was doing the second album, he was like, "Gage, I didn't hear from you from." For a whole year from the first album. He's like, I don't even think you have another album in you. Mm. Wow. And then all of a sudden, when God spoke, <laughs> I got 20 more tracks on the new album. He was just so, trying to amp you up, though. Yeah, honestly. He was trying to amp you up. But, but it to really, get him mad before he get in the booth. You know, see it, what re- come it up really with. did work. So it was like, wow, you know, it, it, it does come. So when God is ready for me to do new things, but I do have a lot of things on the table that I'm working on with, you know, some fellow members in Christ that we're working on some stuff, as well as I am about to start getting, you know, prepared for my new album from that as well. So, you know, my wife gave me the okay. And what kind of stuff you working on, though? Some stuff, you know, I'm working on some stuff. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, again, welcome to another interview of a lot of nothing question being mark. said. <laughs> Gaze, Gaze the question uh, So I got a question coming in from the chat room. Uh-oh. Um, you kind of t- touched on it a little before. How old were you when you gave your life to Christ, and when did you realize that rap was your ministry? Whoa, well, all I, all I, it's 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 hard to remember exactly. I know that I was I was it was December thirty first, nineteen ninety nine, when I gave my life to Christ. I was rhyming for about I would say ten years before that, and I knew for a fact that. Rap was my ministry because I was a rapper at the time when Christ came into my life. And, and that's a good question because I struggled with that in the mm. beginning. I was saying to myself, okay, wait a minute. Well, you know, I didn't really know the, the Christian rap side. Right. So I thought that they, you know, it didn't really even exist. So I'm sitting there saying to myself, okay, how could I rap now? And believe me, before I came to Christ, I wasn't that rapper that talked about killing people all the time anyway. You know, I, I grew up in a Christian home. My mother and father, my mother's a deacon in the church. So mm. I knew Christ from since I was young. But it's just that I was saying things contrary to God. So I was like, man, so how do I be able to go on from here? You know, mm. I'm, 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 I'm not going to do the things that I used to do before. Right. And he just said, now you do it to glorify me. So at first it was difficult 
for me to decide to still rap because I didn't think that there was more to it. And that's when I got to meet the Q the Prophet. And that's when I got to meet the Richie Q Righteouses. The and that's when I got to meet the, you know, the Conquest. And, you know, guys who was doing it already. And you wouldn't believe the first guy that ever put me on stage is Slave. Slave? That Slave? Yeah. Slave is in the house, by the way. I came, I he came, snuck in through the yeah, back door. That's my bro and that's to show you see how the relationship still blossomed because, you know, I went to his church. He didn't know me from a can of paint. And he was just like, okay. So you want to rap for Christ? All right. We're going to check you out. <laughs> and he gave me a shot. And that was the first show I ever did, you know, being a Christian rapper. That's nice. Okay. Nice. I remember the first tape, uh, CD I got from Slave. Somebody gave it to me at a rap fest. It was the, the gold color with the microphone on it. I was like, all right, put it in a bag with all the other demos. <laughs> I had like 100 CDs that day. It was good, though. I, I think we called them up like the following week. And we ended up doing the rap fest present stuff afterwards it was good good that's stuff my, that's, uh, and you know that's my brother man i mean the whole family the whole the whole bc you know um blood coalition is really you know that's my fam you know i mean marcus hall that's my brother i mean we really we really check for one another though i mean everybody in new york to be honest you know i feel good when i see the guys come up here on rap first radio and say well yeah i spoke to gaze i'll be seeing your face like here we go again with this thing. <laughs> yeah because i reach yeah. out you i know, try I to do. tell people not to mention i know don't name, not mention it <laughs> they do it anyway i think you paid them to do I, it i know too. that's I your do. street team I tell do. me right i do that's i do but you see team. you don't have to tell everybody that. <laughs> but yeah i but, see but, your tweet somehow say i'm gonna be on rap first radio so no you're not then i oh i get it i get it they but honestly, yeah, you know, I mean, we one thing I can always say whenever I go out of the state, they always say to me, what's different about New York Christian rap? As now, opposed oh, to that other city. Uh... Yeah, the other city that I won't mention. But yeah, <laughs> but they always ask, what's the difference? And I always say, you know, we know each other. We really do know each other. And as crazy as it sounds, because to you, you're saying, what do you mean we know each other? I mean, that's that should be a given. But you go other places and... Dudes, they don't know each other. Right. At all. They're just names. I mean, they just, just know names. the names. And, and sometimes you come to the event and they just meeting each other at that event. And they've been in the same city for years. You know, right. with, with us, we know, I mean, Slave has been to my house. You know, I've, right. you know we've, we've, I've been to Marcus Hall's house. I've, you know, I know their family. I know their kids. Slave got some bad kids. But yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, Slave's kids nah, are good. Nah, I love Slave kids. Slave got some bad kids. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> But you Slave know. Slave's cool. You know, we, we know, we, we know, you know, I mean, if I see, when I see you no know, kid, you know, when I'm around the whole family, you know what I mean? We, we are a family, everybody in New York, you know, we speak to one another, campaign, everybody, you know what I mean? Hey, son, we talk, her husband, you know what I mean? We all know each other. That's we may important. not always see eye to eye. But it's important yeah, to communicate, yeah. though. Yeah. You know, sometimes I get mad at some guys and they know it. I tweet them, I'm like, yo, what's up? You guys still alive? Yeah. You know, I don't need to be doing rap fest for you to contact me. Well, exactly. you know how it is. We talk yeah. whenever. Even even slaves sometimes I just hit them up. Yo, everything good? Yeah. You know? But um, there's sometimes you need that communication just to check on each other to make sure. Especially with what's going on. I yeah. mean, you know, people are suffering out there, you know, and at the end of the day, it's not always about what your ministry is doing right now. It could always, you yeah. know, I don't want to call you and just say, yo, bro, I'm doing this new single and, and you're going through you know, all kind of problems right. at home. You know right. what I mean? So it's like, I always try to have real communication, real conversations, you know, and, and especially allow people to know that you can come to me, man, you know? Right. And if you are out there and you do know a ways of getting in contact with me and you're going through some stuff, you know, believe me, man, I'm not Hollywood, man. You can come out and talk to me and, you know, I ain't got no money to be Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then you got, like, you those know? other cities that, oh. Um... Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> I'll get it before the end of the night. Yeah, right. Yo, but, um, <laughs> let's, let's, let's take it to a ministry level then now, mm -hmm. um, outside of the music. Someone like the young kid in my, in my church who was stabbed this weekend wow. and lost his life. Mm -hmm. You as a minister of the gospel, mm -hmm. a gospel rapper who shed, you know, he's putting your life out on the CD. What do you tell it, a mother like that? They just lost their child. Oh, man. To be honest with you, you know, I don't know the walk of that particular kid. So I definitely, I'm not one to play with this because this mm -hmm. is serious stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, it, it really, really depends on whether that kid was in Christ or not. Now, I don't know. So I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't deal with, I, I wouldn't, you know, mm -hmm. say that off the back. But that's why I am so passionate about before the situation happens. I'm very big on warning you before you get to that point. 
all I could do at this point in time is pray for that particular parents and say, you know, Lord willing, between us, Lord willing that, you know, if like you said, he was in Christ. So if he was in Christ, that he's with him, you know, and pray for that family strength. Because like you said, regardless of the fact that he may be with Christ now, it's still a tragedy, right. you know, especially when it's a mother burying a child. You know, right, I had to absolutely. bury my mother. It was hard on me, really hard, because she died tragically. Deacon in the church, you know, died tragically in a car accident. And I know people who, you know, who know me know about that story. And it was hard. So could you imagine a mother burying a child? Especially at such a young age. I sympathize with her. Mm -hmm. I will pray for her. I will pray with her if it was me based on what and, I would and, do. And these are things that you, you'll come again across when you're ministering someplace. Right. You go minister to 85 youth or... 200 youth or a thousand and you get to speak to 10 or 15 out of those 10 or 15 maybe so, yeah. five of them just want a cd a free t-shirt and then there's two or three in there that are like yo my, my mom's strung out on drugs mm -hmm. you know what do i do you know and yeah. then reach it to you because now you're just talking truth from the stage De definitely you know so and, and that's and oh man you don't know how important that is like what you just said because a lot of times I always go out to different ministries as well. Like I would say, okay, well, what are your, what is your, like for instance, Rock the Block, I know what they do. Mm -hmm. I know they do Teen Challenge. So I know that they deal with a lot of people who have addiction problems. So I always try to make sure in my Rolodex, I have yep. people that's prepared right. to deal with your Because right. obviously as a human being, I can't just tell you, oh, come live with me and my wife. I'll definitely <laughs> right, right. be out on the street. Right. You know, um, so I can't do that. I can't say that. But I always, it's important as a minister to not just go up there and entertain, to always have, have things set up, have resources. your resources. That's why when I first started ministering, it was hard for me to do altar calls, to be honest, because at the end of the day, when I wanted to do an altar call, I wanted to make sure that when that person came to me and said, okay, you just offered me Christ, I'm here now, but right now when I go back home, I have to go back into this gang infested house. Mm. And there's no way for me to be able to do it. You're talking about going back to that house. So I want to make sure that I have a place for you to go. Right. So you don't have to go back there. Because if you do have to go back there, me praying over you and you going over there, it may not even make a difference. Yeah. And that's important. That's very I necessary. mean, that's, that's why we try to partner up with so many different ministries. You know, right. with even World Vision for whatever local resources. Right. Uh, Grateful Apparel, that they have the 360 house for the men. Right. That are, you know, and we've, we've already referred a few people to there. You know, um, and we try to just find... Where do we send such and such person that's struggling with this or str struggling with so that? Or even man. just connecting with someone who's been through that already. Right. I mean, I'm telling you, with my, my, my church, I mean, we, we got all kind of ministries. We got hidden ministries. We got ministries that see, and I'm going, you, well, you see, said we got hidden? Me talking again. We well, said so, hidden I ministries? Mean, yeah, there's ministries that, I mean, being totally honest, there's ministries in our church that literally goes in for battered wives and pick, takes them in the middle of the night. Oh, okay, that's okay. good. Literally takes them in the middle of the night and puts them in a place where they're safe. Hmm. And a lot of the times, a person that's that 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 who's beating them at home is some law enforcement. Some people are involved with some people right, right. in the church. Author authority. Some, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the people that you walk and you talk to every day, you never know what they're going home and they're dealing with. Right. So again, at the end of the day, man, with me, I'm so passionate about realistic ministry. Mm. You get what I mean? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not the one that's just gonna sit there and say, well. God told me this. If God didn't tell me it, I'm not telling it to you. Yeah, well, you'll, you'll be held accountable no for that game. anyway. No yeah, way. absolutely. A friend of mine was in. He was. He was. He was laid up, and you know, he got shot. I went to his. I went to his bed. I was praying for him low, and people in the room was like, "We all need to hear that." And I'm saying, "You don't want to hear what I'm saying," because mm. I'm saying I know he was there for a reason, and he put himself in that predicament. But I'm praying to my father to do it for me. And I'm asking him, please help this guy save his life for me. God's not a joke. He's real. Right. And I'm not going to play games with him. Absolutely. Say something like, well, God told me that he's going to walk tomorrow. I don't play them games. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't. I don't. That's not something to play with. I don't Absolutely. play them games. If he and ain't say it to me, you ain't hearing me say it. And yeah. it's important to recognize that, too. Yeah. Because many times people take the, the label of artists to another level when they think because they're doing gospel rap they have the authority to just say anything anything no. and sometimes you hear some foolish stuff from the stage yeah. you know i mean but mature people won't do it but sometimes they get all amped up it's yeah fifteen thousand people here yo you get in God the moment and they yeah yeah, yeah. You get then the you come off stage and you get you... someone like your wife or my wife like what you said well, mm -hmm. oh you know my wife would tell it <laughs> what in the world was that 
<laughs> it's yeah. a lot of times, and I'm getting off the stage. Sometimes I'll be trying to get up too early. She'd be right at the corner. Where you going? Mm. They said 15 minutes. You you coming off at 10. <laughs> you got five more minutes. So I'm done. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it's it, and that's what I cling to, and that's why I love, you know, the family that God has put me among, you know, my family in Christ. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of times you do hear a lot of bad things about the Christian body, but one thing I could say, the body of Christ, I would say, but when it comes to me, man, I got, I got a lot of good brothers in Christ and sisters Amen. in Christ. Man. That's important. And that's I mean... Good. You know, so I'm not going to sit here and bash because you hear that all the time, but not me, man. I mean, I would never want to be no place else. Amen. You know what I mean? That's I important. Mean, That's big. You know, you as family, it doesn't even just have to do with just the fact that I'm here, even though I'm giving you a shout out because you brought me on your show, but still. Amen. You know, but, yeah. but honestly. It's not like the other city, yo. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, you know what I mean? I've called you, Bert, asked you about situations that had to do with things that I was going through, asked your advice. You, you know, you gave me your advice. You took the time out to talk to me. You know right. what I mean? I, slave is I even got to hang out in your VIP suite at the Kingdom Choice you Awards. See what I'm saying? Yo, you yeah. hooked me up. I had no suite. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. But your wife did. Yeah, you see, <laughs> your did. wife She'd did. She'd be like, I'm going in your the front. Your wife did. She was in the front row. Marcus, I'm like, I'm make going sure with her. she get front every time. I'm going but, with her. Yeah, but I mean, you know, Slave has always been there. He came here tonight. Just to support, support. me, he's That's not great. even. He's not even. He said, "Yo, I don't even be on camera." He came here to support me. That's good. You know what I mean? You know, Conquest was by the house the other day. He came through and chilled with me, and me and him just chilled and talked and, That's good. and hung out. And Marcus Hall, I mean, the countless amount of videos that he's done for me and the time he put into my ministry, where I didn't even have a penny to give him. You get what I'm saying? Right. The yeah. amount of things that you know, just 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 the family in itself. You know what I mean? Everybody has. Been there when I did my release party. Pretty much every Christian rapper in New York came out, supported me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Preach that fire came out. They came out. Light the flow came mm -hmm. out. You know, Petty D came out. I met his family. So mm -hmm. I'm, a, you know, I'm gonna go against the grain. I mean, well, I and it's messed up to say go against the grain, but I hear it a lot in a lot of interviews where people bash one another. My Christian family is the best family I could ever mm -hmm. ask for, bro. But you know what? You're responsible for making that happen, though. Yeah. You know, because sometimes. They're still knuckleheads, but you still make the best out of the relationship. Right. right. That's what that's Yo, what counts. That's right. Don't get me wrong. I don't it's get too, along with everyone. Right. But, 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 but what I'm saying, though, yeah. it's, right. it's you both play a role in that. Yes. Yeah. You know, because yes. you could be a knucklehead to somebody else, but if you find a way to, you know what, we can meet at this point, yeah. right. and we can support each other this way. I Definitely. mean, that's good. It's that's great. Important. It's and it's because there's people who say to me, "Well, Gage, okay, you got on that show. How come I didn't get on that show? You went late in this show. How come I didn't go late?" And I'll ask them, when they was putting that show together, did you call and ask if they need your help? Mm. Did you bring any water when they might have needed some water? Yeah. Right. Did you volunteer at any time? I did. So it didn't have anything to do with me being a better rapper than you, why I'd be able to get on that show. I helped. Right. And whether I'm on that show or not, I will help if you ask. A servant, yeah. Right. A true servant. That's, that's important. That's, that's, that's big. About. I think it's, you said something that was, that really hit hit me where you know it goes far beyond the rap that you write it goes far beyond the video that you make we have to always think that yeah those things are good but are, what are we doing beyond the event to touch that one person that as you said you can rap and, and they get touched, but what are we doing after you come off stage to help that person that's got to go back to an environment that's not conducive to salvation or, or exactly. anything? You know, what yeah. are we doing? So, you know, we always have to keep in mind that we're the vessel God's going to use. And when we're rapping, that's a way to grab their attention. Right. But what are you going to do to make a difference for their eternity? Definitely. Mm. And that's why I make sure, and that's why it's so important to me to before I started to do altar calls, I was like, yo, I need to find out that when the person comes, I got to be able to have resources mm. to be able to send them to if they get into that predicament where, you know, they can't go back home. It's real out there. Yeah. It's real. And it's I not can respect I can respect that cuz I we've come across some ministries that you ask them to do an altar call and it's like, I can't pray. They just like they just don't pray. Right. <laughs> I'm like, yo, that's bad. You gotta be able right. to at least pray. Right. But something like that I could respect. 
Yeah. You know, if you have nothing else to offer, it, it, it is tough. It puts you in an awkward situation. It does. It does. Because I'm, I'm not going to sit here and just tell you, okay, well, let me tell you this. On your way home, God's going to just give you a new home. No. Yeah, it's right. not going to happen. You get what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit there and just lie to you and tell you things just to make you, you know, feel right. good. The bottom line is, if your situation is real, then we need to find a way to deal with your real situation. Right. Right. And, and if us as Christians go through a lot of problems, could you imagine the ones who don't have Christ? Right. Yep. They don't. They don't believe that there's any kind of alternative. They don't have mm. any hope. Right. They're at the end. For them, we they're fighting at the end. with. Yep. We fighting with ours, and we know we got a savior. But mm-hmm. they don't. They don't. They don't believe. You know, there's anything out there. You the man, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, Rap Fest Radio is what we're doing. Rap Fest Radio. Rap Fest Radio. Dot com. Yeah. So, you know, you gotta spit a little something before you do. I don't tell me no. <laughs> you don't have to tell me the city. You don't have to tell me what you're working on. No secret projects the or nothing. City, you know, I'm telling you, man. This is no a little something. This is no joke. I'm a bloke that just soaks in his rays, sunlight, moonlight, nights into days. Holy in ways keeps me boldly in praise. So I stays with a straight view. This world's in the maze. I gaze at the pain and I pass it with power, telling people about the person that can change them in an hour. Jesus frees us. You sees us. Listen, the main ingredient in your main course you're missing. I glisten in the light. He's assisting in the fight, so I'm fisting up the enemy that's hissing in the night. No losses. See me? You would wanna be me. Got the whole world up in my hand, fam. Believe me, a son of the sun, so I'm done in the fam. Not a scam, real royalty. Gage is who I am, and I'm free. I'm focused and from another planet. Plus, I'm fly when I'm flossing. The devil can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is directly for you, so this last one here. So go ahead, it's on you. I already did. You mentioned. Yes. You're gonna give a real, like an official. Big shout out. To He Sun Lee. <laughs> <laughs> he Sun Lee and family. And family. And yep. family to Kayla and to my brother Tim. Yeah, they're good people. Timmy out there, Chi. Man. That's my bro. That's my bro, man. Yeah, we're, again, man, we, we, we're excited. Don't forget Rap Fest 2012, August 11th. Yeah. Send in your submissions. We have till April 30th. That's the deadline to get it all in. And then we're going to make our selections and we'll make the announcements. We have Nikki Cruz coming out to be a guest speaker. K-Drama as a special guest. Jacob Bergai going to be speaking the night before Rap Fest. Sick is going to be ministering at Rap Fest this year. Life Zone TV is going to be broadcasting live. Grateful Apparel is going to be there. Unique. God belongs in my city. is going to be with us the week before. Yeah, a lot of stuff is yeah, going on. Yeah, we need yeah. you guys to get excited. Tweet about it. Uh, hashtag RapFest2012. Okay. Uh, submit. That's the best part you can do is submit your demos, your definitely, bios, definitely, your music. Definitely. We want to hear new artists. We do want to hear the veterans as well that know how to do the street ministry. We'll, we'll help. We'll assist. That's what we're here for. Yeah. You yeah. know, we've, we've discovered a lot of ministries through RapFest. You know, and I'm, I'm excited definitely, about that. But definitely. we're also looking for some veterans to jump into the game yeah, and help so us. Many. Do this work, <laughs> and Alice insists that Gage is going to submit. So definitely, uh, we'll make we'll make sure your team gets you in there. Submit. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, you got yeah, a lot of ears yeah. on that one. My man, my man, Noah the Governor. You Noah know, the his, Governor. His new single is crazy. You know? Actually, talking about that, we yes. have his video that we're going to play. Definitely, definitely, uh, man. Tell tell us about it. You man, got shoot Yes, behalf. yes, that's my brother, man. You know, what I mean, he's definitely doing his thing. He's speaking in Hebrew in the record, you know, man, and he's definitely the going to another level with it. You know what I mean? And um, you know, he's with the Blood Coalition, and you know, I'm affiliated. I'm not a part. I'm not in the Blood Coalition, but I'm affiliated. Them dudes are so so hot right now. I just gotta make sure I be around them so I can just smile. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I'm in the video doing a little cameo. You know, cause I gotta. You know, when you know, when you you know something is anointed, you gotta, yeah, you gotta, you gotta make it. sure you get close. Yep, yep. You know, I'm not. Yeah. You see, cause that's what happens when you're a hater. When you're a hater, you run away, because, and then you never get the feeling of mm, the anointing mm, around them. Mm. But if I see a person that's anointed, I'm running to them. Amen. You know, so that's what I'm seeing in the whole Blood Coalition, Darina, Say La the Corner, you know what I mean? Slave the Ninth Inning and everybody that's involved, Marcus Hall, my family, you know, and I just can't give them enough props to see that they're doing it and they're really stand up men of God. And, you know, so definitely check out Yahshua, you know, my brother. Say, I'll, I'll know Noah, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What you gonna know? You know, you saw no, what she no, said? No. Oh, okay. No, um, asking, no, yeah, they're asking what's when, you, when can they catch you next? Oh, I got a few. I'm doing Rock the Block um, coming up. Um, I, I can't, I don't That's know. June, I'm looking, like, right? Yeah, in June. I'm also um, going back to Germany in October. That was dope wow, last year. Wow, nice. Last year, October, Slave and I went to the GLI live tour. And it was crazy because this was the first time they actually brought two ministers out that wasn't 
that popular. They're accustomed to having the right. They're big names, big names, big names, and they brought Slave and myself out, and it was like, okay, we got these two dudes that people don't know. Who did slave? they get scared of you, Slave? Oh, they was putting up a lot of videos they like, who is Slave? Who is Gage? It's like get that who guy off the dudes? chairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the crazy thing is that the difference with us again, which is weird to hear, but you know, we were able. To a lot of times when you get to a certain level of ministry, and I'm being honest, you know, you can't be able to have that interaction with everybody. Right. Because the fact that you don't know who's friend, who's foe, you right. know, and sure. that's a lot. When they even come down to celebrities, you know, yeah, they get yeah. the bigger they get, they gotta worry about things. But slave and I, we straight from the street, got up. Mm -hmm. So we was out hanging with everybody. That's we, cool. we you know, before the show we was in the front party and, and then when we got on stage, we got on stage ministering and we was all in the crowd and it was different for them because it was like first time they was able to vibe with us we went to a few bible studies with them we spent time and we really put in a lot of work when it comes to them and we got family for life out there now. Man, that's awesome. well that's ministry that. that's yeah. awesome that's ministry you know what i mean you know? so it's on it's it's on, it's it's important to understand to always keep to that that grounded you know, yeah we're gonna start the no green room ministries yeah that's it there you go no green room that's ministries it. that's it everybody you heard it here every, first unless everybody can get <laughs> in the green room <laughs> and gr ministries together. you heard it so, here first <laughs> no green room ministries yo check out this video by who was no it? The no, the governor. governor. Yes, I said Sailor before. Sailor's a great dude too, man. Hey, so man. many. There's a lot of good artists out so there. Much. Uh, oh, next week, Doctor Viteri. Next week's Doctor Viteri. The week after. The twenty third is Sheena Lee, and after that we got Dave TV Dave and TV. HD. Yeah. And then sometime May twenty first, I think it is. We have the rep from Arizona. The rep from Arizona is yeah, going to be definitely. here with us. Um, that's already confirmed. So please just keep keep in touch with us. Uh, Twitter at Rafes Radio or our live. Yeah, RFR Live is our hashtag. RapFestInc.com. Keep Gage in prayer. Keep Gage in prayer. And if you're from that city, just hit me up. Let me know. Yeah. We want to know. They know who they are. If they hit you up, pray for them. Okay, I'm waiting for them. RapFestInc at gmail.com. Hit me up. I just want to know. Just Like a journalist type, want to know. I know. You know. For investigative reporting. I know. <laughs> 2020, 2020 type stuff, you know what I'm saying? I've gotten better, right? Before, I would have probably really Yeah, you would have let it out the bag a long time ago. And then you would have, oh, I know. I know. can't believe I said I that. Can we delete that? No, that's good, man. Uh, well, we're glad you're here in New York and not in that other city. Uh, <laughs> check out this video, man. Yeshua just came out this week. Yeah. Hot video, and we'll be, we'll be having him on the show yeah, sometime we'll soon. We're working on the details. Him, yeah. So we'll definitely get that. Thanks again for tuning in, Rapfest Radio, RapfestRadio.com. You will learn us because we are out, out of control. control. Peace. Ruka da Adonai Lachim, Lech Adam Hadamati Lachim, me. And it's Hashem Yeshua. Prepare Yeshua. Shalom Aleichem. Aha. Crazy Adam. Ruka da Hashem Adonai. First was the word and the word was with God John 1-1 one, one for the Lord I spit bars Bring the cross over for God I'm tip hard Since Adam and Eve in the garden they sin hard You trying to get the heaven off the tower Nimrod That's like trying to swipe the subway with a SIM card Hakadosh Baruch I'm released, that's FR in two E's He's a beast, he took scars in a two-piece Took the cross, rolled from death, now who's he? For our sins, he was slain, so we had to die So now I scream, Yeshua Haggadah Barukata, I don't know, Elohim, Alek I'm speaking that Hebrew for God and you seem perplexed Been transformed, reborn, redeemed from mess Don't put your life in jeopardy like you see Trebek For our sins, he was slain, so we had to die For our sins, he was slain, so we had to die For our sins, he was slain, so we had to die we had to die. So now we scream, Yeshua, I That says Christ is the ruler, lying in a true 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 He was in beginning with God, that's John 2. God's promise to his anointed, that's Psalm 2. Who you think I'm talking about? Jesus and Nazareth. They'd rather see release of a thief, he's barabbas. Peace on the Sabbath, cut from different fabric. Here to affect the world for change, he's a catalyst. Just take a look at the Old Testament prophet. You see a lot of theophanies like Hazakim In other words, who was the angel we wrestled with? And who was Moses talking to up in Exodus? Who, who was crushed, beaten, and battling? Who, who was in the fire with Daniel's friends? Who? Yeshua
a lion and lamb, he slaughtered sin Jesus. The God who I never seen like Sandal Tim Jesus. Took a stand with no man, wouldn't stand with him That's why we all praise, raise hands to For him For since you were slain, so we had to die For hey. since you were slain, so we had to die For, For hey. since you were slain, so we had to die So now we scream Yeshua, Haggadah That says Christ is the ruler, lion of Judah 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 Ain't seeing those figs no Pulling you over Ain't seeing those pigs no Thugs on the corner That's twisting your wig Just all their worship With saints where I live For our sins You were slain So we had to die For our sins You were slain So we had to die For our, our sins You were slain So we had to die So now we scream Yeshua Haggadah That says Christ is the ruler Lying the truth